motion, dynamics, inertia. What are these things? Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me again, Teacher Teen, your science teacher for today's vlog. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 8. We are going to discuss week 1 of module 1 of your quarter 1 in science 8. And week 1, module 1, this is all about changes in the motion of objects. But in this module, hahatiin na rin ito sa tatlo. Because we are going to discuss the three laws of motion which are the law of inertia, law of acceleration, and law of interaction. But in this topic, okay, in this vlog, so, magsisimula muna tayo sa Law of Inertia. So, this will be the part 1 of your Module 1 in Science 8. In this lesson, you will learn the concept on how to investigate the relationship between the amount of force applied and the mass of the object to the amount of change in object's motion. Tandaan natin that Ang isang object, it can be acted upon by several forces, kahit pa yan ay nakatigil o gumagalaw. And remember that an object, it can be pushed, yes, itulak, or pwede rin siyang hilahin in different directions at the same time. At syempre, para mas maunawaan at ma-identify nyo kung ano-ano nga ba yung mga forces na maaring sanhi or cause ng paggalaw ng isang bagay. Importante na ma-determine nyo rin kung ano-ano nga ba yung mga forces, what are those forces that acts on an object. Examine the figure 1 below. Is there a motion? Why do you think so? Okay, i-describe muna natin at i-define natin ano ba yung tinatawag natin na motion. When we say motion, this is a phenomenon in which an object changes its position over time. Okay, take note that motion, it is described in terms of distance, displacement, velocity, acceleration, speed, and time. So, dun sa pinakita natin yung picture ng isang lalaki na nakatayo na naandun siya sa loob ng train, masasabi ba natin na mayroong motion na naganap? Okay, pagmasdan ulit natin ang litrato. In this example, in this illustration, the bus is moving from its reference point of its place of origin. The, the bus moves with certain speed at a rate by which it accelerates at specific time. Pero kung titingnan natin naman yung tao na nakatayo, walang motion na nangyari. Bakit? Sapagkat wala namang nangyaring pagpabago sa kanyang position or sa kanyang displacement. Now, the question is, what will happen to the man as he is standing still and the, and the bus moves forward. How about when the bus suddenly stops? Ayan! Meron naman tayong tinatawag na dynamics. So, ano naman pag sinabi ba nating dynamics? When we say dynamics, this is the study of forces that cause an objects or systems to move. Now, ano naman yung tinatawag natin na force? When we say force, this is simply defined as the push and pull. Okay, ano nga yung push and pull? Pag sinabi natin push, ibig sabihin itulak. At pag sinabi natin naman natin pull, ibig sabihin hilahin. So again, when we say force, this is simply defined as the push and pull of an object with a specific magnitude and direction. At tandaan natin na May kinakailangan tayong standard force when we are representing a vector quantity. At ito na nga ang tinatawag natin na push, tulak, or pull, or hila. 
and the push and pull of an object can vary considerably in either magnitude and direction. Now, let's proceed with the three laws of motion. The first law of motion, that is what we call the law of inertia, and that is for part one of this module. Ibalikan natin yung figure 1 kanina kung saan may lalaki na nakatayo sa isang umaandar na trend. So, ano bang pinapakita ng picture na to? Kung mapapansin nyo dito sa lalaking to, kahit umaandar yung trend, nananatili na siya ay nakatigil pa rin. Ano? He is standing still even though the train is moving. And this picture or this illustration, this demonstrates the property of an object to resist in its state of motion. Kung baga, kahit may, may paggalaw doon sa bagay na sinasakyan niya, siya ay nananatiling nakatigil at ang tawag natin doon ay inertia. Sa Tagalog, ang inertia ay, ay pagsawalang kilos. Kung baga, nakatigil lang. Walang kilos o walang paggalaw kahit na merong paggalaw na nangyayari sa kanyang paligid. And this is a great example of the first law of motion by Isaac Newton, which is the law of inertia. Law of inertia, it states that a body at rest remain at rest, and a body in motion remains in motion at a constant velocity unless it is acted upon by an external force. Okay, let us all remember that all objects have the tendency to resist changes in their state of motion or keep doing what the objects are doing. However, tandaan natin na yung paggalaw or yung pagbago ng isang object sa kanyang state of motion, nakadepende pa rin ito sa kanyang inertia. Anong ibig sabihin nun? So, ano mga example nun? Okay, a more massive object has more inertia. That's why it's very difficult for it to change its position or to move it from rest, to slow down, or to speed up. Example, merong isang nakatigil na truck o kaya isang napakalaking bato na nakatigil siya at gusto mo siyang pagalawin. Kahit anong tulak mo dyan, hindi mo yan mapapagalaw agad kasi nga napaka-massive ng object, sobrang bigat, sobrang laki. Kaya, mas mataas din yung inertia niyan at hindi mo agad-agad yan mapapagalaw kahit anong force pa ang i-apply mo sa kanya. And this is illustrated in figure 1, yung pinakita natin kanina picture which is this one, that when the bus suddenly stops, there will be change in motion. Yung tinatawag natin inertia is exhibited when the body moves forward as if to continue moving. Sudden acceleration will make the body whoops backward. Have you experienced this kind of motion when riding a tricycle or a jeepney or even a bus? Yung bang pagtigil, yung nakatigil kang ganyan, then nung nagpreno, bigla kang napapagdagan yan. Alam ko, at kahit ako naka-experience na nun, kayo ba? Siyempre, at yan yung tinatawag natin na law of inertia. Okay, in inertia, there isn't just one type. Meron tayong tatlong type ng inertia. And you'll find the different types of inertia including, number one, we have the inertia of rest, inertia of motion, and inertia of direction. Ano yung pagkakaiba ng tatlong to? Number one, we have inertia of motion. It means that an object will continue at the same speed until a force acts on it. For example, body going forward when a car stops. The other one, we have inertia of rest. An object stays where it is placed and it will stay there until you or something else moves it. So example, Thus, particles stay at rest until you shake a carpet or you remove it from the carpet. Another example of inertia is inertia of direction. An object will stay moving in the same direction unless a force acts on it. And another example for this inertia of direction is one's body movement to the side 
when a car or when a motorcycle makes a sharp turn. When it comes to laws of motion, inertia is one of the greats. Inertia resists change in motion. Objects want to stay in rest or motion unless an outside force causes a change. Yan. Pagdating sa laws of motion, may tinatawag tayong inertia or ibig sabihin ng inertia pag sa sawalang kilos. Ang isang object ay maaaring manatiling nakatigil o gumagalaw unless an outside force o kung mayroong force na inapply tayo doon para magkaroon ng pagbabago sa isang object na to. Yan. For example, if you roll a ball, it will continue rolling. Unless friction or something else stop it by force. Ganon din kapag may binato ka. So, hindi yan mananatiling dere-derecho pataas. Dahil may tinatawag tayong friction, may tinatawag tayong gravitational force. So, babagsak pa rin yan pababa kahit itapon mo yan ng pataas. You can also think about the way that your body keeps moving forward when you hit the brake on your bike. Inertia comes in different types of at yun na nga ang inertia of rest, inertia of motion, and inertia of direction. If an index card is placed on top of a glass with a penny on top of it, the index card can be quickly removed while the penny falls straight into the glass as the penny is demonstrating inertia. This is another example of law of inertia which is the first law of motion by Isaac Newton. Another example, this is for the inertia of direction. When you steer coffee or tea or anything, when you steer it and stop, the swirling motion continues due to inertia. So, pag nagahalo ka ng kape, di ba pag tinanggal mo na yung kutsara mo, hindi naman agad nag-stop yung pag-ikot ng tubig doon. Nananatili siyang umiikot ng pabilog or in the swirling motion. Okay, dere-derecho siya. It's because of the inertia. For learning task number one, fill in the backs the correct letter or letters being described in each item. Write your answer in your, in your notebook. Okay? First question. The scientist who formulated the laws of motion. Okay? Who is the scientist? I'll give you five seconds to think. Okay. The correct answer is Newton. Okay, very good. He is Isaac Newton. Okay, second question. The force needed to stop an object in motion is called? I'll give you five seconds once again. Okay, the correct answer is friction. Very good. Number three, the property of an object that resists change in its state of motion. Five seconds. Okay, the correct answer is inertia. Okay, that is good. Next, the sum of all the forces acting on the object is zero which is the first condition of it and it has two forms five seconds okay the correct answer is equilibrium okay very good and last the body will remain at rest or move at constant velocity unless acted upon by an external net or or unbalanced force and this is five seconds Okay, the correct answer is law of inertia or the first law of motion by Newton. Okay, very good. Ayan, this is the end of our lesson vlog in Science 8 in Module 1, Part 1. Siyempre, meron pa tayong Part 2, kaya abangan nyo ang next na video. At mag-aaralan naman natin ang law of acceleration. Ang daming manok. Yan. Pag-aaralan natin ang law of acceleration including the computation on how we are going to 
Nakaka compute for the force, mass, and acceleration. So, samahan niyo ako sa ating mga susunod pang vlog in Science 8. This is Teacher Tin, your science teacher for today's vlog. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 8. Bye!